but Mike Krzyzewski was going to be the guy. It could have been his job. Yeah, he passed on it. Here goes Colby, and Colby's able to put one in. Left-handed. Team Donnell, or Fisher. Nice rotation of Bryant. Buckle up for Colby Bryant! Colby Bryant just sucked the gravity out of the target center. What a play! He might have just injured that shoulder a little bit more. Taken away by Fish. He's got Colby on the run. Kobe from Fish. Showtime! 360, 107, 100 Lakers. What a defensive play in the last two, two minutes by the Lakers. They have really gotten the job done. <laughs> the birds are out in Sacramento. I want everyone to comment on the video right now. What is your favorite Kobe Bryant memory? Could be on the court, could be off the court. I just want everyone to be sharing their Kobe memories down in the comments. I'm going to be looking through it. And I'm going to tell you right now, from a personal standpoint, I, I got to thank this man. Like He helped mold my entire mentality on how I approached life and how I want to be better than myself every single day. And I push myself to be the best version of myself that I can be. And I'll always be grateful to the great Kobe Bryant for that. But in today's video, man, we got our Kobe Bryant build, one of my favorite builds to make every single 2K, my Kobe build, combined with Pau Gasol and the one and only Ron Artest or Metal World Peace or whatever name he's going by right now. We have the Lakers big three that took down the Boston Celtics in the 2010 NBA Finals to capture Kobe's fifth NBA championship. So if you could, drop a like on the video and let's get right into it. So we got Kobe, Pau, Ron, 3v3, NBA 2K21. Let's get right into some gameplay. So right off the rip, Pow's going to hit our test in the corner. He bricks. Pow snagging, dishing out to Kobe in the mid-range. And you already know Kobe's lethal in the mid-range. Down on the other end, we have an interesting possession here. We have a spinning 360 jump pass bailout. Over to this guy who goes behind the back, shoots a one-handed contested jump shot, 31%, and knocks it down. If you're interested for that jump shot, it's in the last jump shot video I posted. I'll leave the link in the description. Back to the gameplay. We got Pow at the high post. Kobe on the back door. Pow with the alley-oop. Kobe throwing it down. But here was the thing about Kobe. Not only was he one of the best scorers we've ever seen, but the man got it done on the defensive end too with the steal. Signature Kobe fadeaway, knocking it down. So with a 6-3 lead, we got our test on the drive with the hop step, looking like 2K20, kicking it out. Pau Gasol opening the corner. He's knocking down the three ball. Down on the other end, our opponents are fighting. He's going to do a little speed boost, drive to the rim, get a lay in, and back they come again. Nine to five. He's going to drive. We get the block off the offensive rebound. Check this out, man. You can't be using my jump shots against me. This dude's just smacking whites with this one-handed jump shot. As I said, link to that video is in the description. But check this out. On the drive, Kobe with the left hand windmill throwing it down. This is our first game on the court, and our opponents are fighting scrappy opponents to stay in the game. Check it out. Zach Levine gets the dunk. Ron Artest on the drive, Levine with the strip, pushing it in transition, he's going to throw it down to the big man, Gasol with the block, offensive rebound, they get the lay in and they take the lead 12 to 11, but check it out, Kobe on the drive, kicking it to the corner, Ron Artest with a three, and he passed me the ball, he never passed me the ball, and he passed me the ball, Kobe passed me the ball, and I shot a three. Here's where we really take control of the game. He drives in, he goes for the lob, can't get it. Powell rips it down, throws it ahead. Our test takes his time, ball fake, kick it to the corner. Kobe's wide open. And I'm using all of Kobe's animations, by the way. Kobe's jump shot, Kobe's dunk package, Kobe's size up. All the Kobe animations for the video, of course. But check it out. Our test with the dunk, that's 19 to 12. And that's basically game. Kobe got takeover now, so you already know it's a wrap. Curry slide, drive in, go up, windmill all over this dude. So a decent little competitive first game. But this second game is going to be all about Kobe's number two. His sidekick, his Robin, Pau Gasol, okay? My boy Frank has a 72 three-pointer on this build. And just look what he does in this gameplay representing Pau Gasol, okay? But I wanna talk about Pau. Pau might be one of the most underrated players in NBA history. Before he came to the Lakers, he was averaging like 20 and 10 every season, but people always labeled him soft because you know, he's, he's from Spain, he's a European player, he's not the most athletic guy, and people just automatically label those guys soft. But as we saw in those title years, those those two you know back-to-back -back titles the Lakers won, he was anything but soft, and Kobe absolutely loved Pau. And Pau absolutely loved Kobe. They became like brothers. And even to this day now, Pau is helping Vanessa take care of the family. Pau literally is looking out for someone that he considers a brother, making sure that his family is all set and taken care of. 
And damn, if you don't respect him for that, then you are not a human being. But from a basketball perspective, let's talk about the basketball side of it. In their title years, Powell was putting up 18 and 10 every season consistently for the Lakers. 18 and 10 was just about the numbers that he was putting up throughout the regular season for them to win those two championships, man. I mean, you got to respect it. That's exactly what Kobe needed at the time, and he got it. Now, the other man playing on this court, Ron Artest, a lot of people, when they think of Ron Artest as a Laker, the only thing they remember is that he shot that three against Boston in the NBA Finals, and, you know, Kobe passed me the ball, like I showed the clip earlier, and for good reason. It was a huge shot, but people don't remember I don't know if y'all know this, in the Western Conference Finals against the Phoenix Suns, it was tied 2-2. Two to two. Kobe took a shot to try to win the game. Ron Artest came flying in from the weak side. I think he beat Tim Thomas to the rebound, if I remember correctly. But he beat his defender to the rebound and essentially got a putback at the buzzer to win the game against the Phoenix Suns in Game 5, to go up 3-2, to two, and then eventually the Lakers ended up winning it in Game 6. But if Artest never got that offensive rebound and putback, who knows what would have happened? Maybe they went down 3-2. Maybe they lost in overtime. They go down 3-2. And who knows if they even get to the NBA Finals to get that rematch against Boston, which obviously they ultimately ended up winning. But damn, like, these little plays that, like, these... I mean, Ron Artest wasn't a... I guess you could call him a role player, but he wasn't a role player. He was he was a big piece to that Lakers team. But it's just funny how you forget all of these moments that, you know, if you're not the star or the second star, you make big plays. They, you kind, they kind of get forgotten as, as time goes. But that game went... That putback game winner against the Phoenix and then obviously the big shot in Game 7 against Boston. I mean, those were two huge shots made by Ron Artest. And he deserves his credit. Also, I want to talk about Ron because I don't know if y'all know this but the year before the lakers got ron artest in 2009 they actually played against him in the playoffs i don't know if you guys remember that series but kobe and ron artest went to absolute war with each other the lakers ended up winning it in seven games but basically people say like that was a series that really like ron artest earned kobe's respect so much to the point that when Ron came to the team, you know, he was a little nervous. Like, bro, I was just, you know, it's Kobe's team. And I just basically went to war with him in the playoffs the year before. I don't know how he's going to be. And Kobe loved him for going to war. Like, Kobe was that dog, man. He had, People talk about having that dog in you. Kobe had that dog. And he respected people that were willing to go to battle with him and actually, like, you know, like, actually willing to fight him. Look at the chase down block, man. We're out here going crazy with Kobe. But Kobe respected people that were willing to go to war with him and Ron Artest was one of those guys and hey they signed him and went on to win the championship the next year to take down the big three Boston Celtics that also had Ray John Rondo and stuff and it was a redemption win for Kobe because that 08 NBA Finals loss to the Celtics it ate at him he was so hungry to get his revenge and of course they beat the Magic the next year but he wanted the Celtics and he got the Celtics and he beat them in seven games. It was a grueling seven game series, man. If you guys look back on that, look back on that series and go watch the, the games or at least watch the highlights of it, man, it was a war. Especially that game seven was an absolute war. But hey, man, Kobe, Powell, Ron, the rest of the Lakers, Phil Jackson, they got the job done. But like I said, comment your favorite Kobe memories down below. I'm giving I'm giving a couple of mine here. I could I could talk about it for hours and hours. I literally grew up watching Kobe and Shaq. Then I got to see Kobe and Pal. It was it was absolutely beautiful basketball to watch, but also just learning from Kobe, listening to Kobe. As I said, he helped mold me mold my mindset into the person that I am today into the way that I approach life every single day and I'll forever be grateful to him for that and man this trio right here give you a couple stories about Powell and Ron such a good team the Lakers had in 2010 and obviously they won the championship obviously they were a good team but you understand what I'm saying one of my favorite teams to watch but we're out here in the park 3v3 on my Kobe Bryant build like I said using all of Kobe's animations his jump shot his fade his dribble moves, you know, his size up, his all that stuff, man. All Kobe Bryant animations on my Kobe Bryant build out here in the park going crazy on the 3v3. Now, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. We're on a grind to a million subscribers. If you haven't dropped a like already, make sure you do so. And also, comment your favorite Kobe Bryant memory down in the comment section, man. Rest in peace to the late, great Kobe Bryant. Love you, bro. Thank you for everything.